everybody and welcome to North Andover, Massachusetts, where today a huge NEC football game is on tap as the Sacred Heart Pioneers visit the Merrimack College Warriors. And now they meet here today in North Andover with Merrimack looking to take this one. And we are underway here in North Andover as the kick will bounce through the end zone for a touchback. So the second drive for the Warriors begins from their own 31. Edmonds in there, faked it to him. Now McCusker scrambling. He gets the edge. McCusker across the 40, out across the 50, and he's tripped up into Sacred Heart territory. If the defense is giving you some, you keep using it until they change. From the 38, now he is looking to pass. Carter in the middle of the field gets open, and Jakari Carter right at the sticks. Play clock down to five. Now McCusker takes the snap. Dawson again on the read option. Staying patient, Dawson bursting goes. through. Get there. And to the end zone he goes. Victor Dawson right where he left off last week. A 27-yard run. Warriors strike first. It's 6-0. Down to two. Claps for the snap, gets it. McCusker now feeling the pressure. Rolls out to his left, takes a shot down the field for a wide open target. It looked like Donovan Wadley got free. Second catch, though, sets the Warriors up at the red zone. Conroy comes across the line here in motion. Play clock down to two, gets the snap. He's open. Throw Looking to the, the end zone. Great Conroy, job. touchdown, Warriors. Pat Conroy, the tight end, just his eighth reception of the season, his second touchdown catch, and the Warriors have a 13-0 lead. Fantastic job and play call here. It seems there's some Sacred Heart uh, confusion on their back end with their secondary, but Conroy comes in, stems his safety, gets inside leverage, and with his big body, if the ball's delivered to the inside, no one's gonna be able to get through him to knock that down. Renzi, as I mentioned earlier, has a 49-yarder to his credit last year. His long this year, 35, he's four for six. Renzi from 43, kick is up, and it is good. good. A line drive from Sam Renzi. Sacred Heart is on the board, it's 14 to three. Clock now ticking under 20 seconds. Sacred Heart does have one timeout remaining, but at this point, they're not gonna have enough time to run the play down the field and call the timeout. McCray is gonna look towards the middle of the field. He has a man, slips by the first guy. It's Denota inside the 40. He goes out of bounds with two seconds still on the clock. Made one from 43. This one from 32, and the kick is up and good. So a 32-yard field goal from Renzi is how the first half will come to a close. Overall, a good half from Merrimack. They scored the first 14 points. This one held Sacred Heart to just six, and that is how this first half will end here. Right back up to the line of scrimmage. McCray. Drops back this time, looking towards the oh. sideline. It's picked off by Butler. Shane and Butler to the end zone. A pick six for Shane Butler. His third interception of the year. And the Warriors lead 20 to six. Being in the right place, right time. I don't even think he was expecting the pass, but McCray seemed to not see Donata being, there, being blanketed right there and just threw it right to him as we see him here. He stuffs Donata at the line and then just becomes the receiver himself. And then with the awareness to get upfield, see uh, nothing but green turf in front of him and hit pay dirt. Right at the sticks. A little four yard completion. Now McCray on a play action has Womack and he might have the end zone. Oh, and what a does. play for Sacred Heart just when they needed one. And they hit. A 68-yard touchdown pass from McCray to Womack, and just like that, the Pioneers pick up their first touchdown. Good heart looking out to replicate that again um, on this drive here to see if Merrimack can gather themselves um, and play sound defense. It's McCray's fifth touchdown pass of the season, and the second for Womack receiving. Here's a handoff, and that's the second back, Jalen Madison who's able to burst through there. Have Great job by Sacred Heart. Just being able to move the ball now in, positive, in the positive direction uh, start at, at the start of this second half. At the Warrior 45. Again, back to Madison, staying patient, cuts it back through the middle and a big pickup. Madison 
Goes inside the 40, inside the 35, in fact. And he is down to the 31 on a 14 yard pickup. So a couple of nice looking runs from the second running back, Madison. They go right back to him here. And he's able to cut it back to the left for positive yards again, a pickup of five. Looks like Sacred Heart's gonna keep the offense on the field. Fourth down and five at the Merrimack 26. They feel they have the momentum. McCray. Looking to throw, he pump fakes, once has wide open Rob Denota inside the five. Nice pick there. This time McCray keeps it and he'll walk into the end zone. The rushing touchdown for McCray, his fourth rushing touchdown of the season. And Sacred Heart has the response. 21-19, they're within two of tying this game up. So Peterson now standing in his own end zone. We've seen a couple of interesting snaps here today as well, so that's something to keep an eye on. Christian Smith, the long snapper, gets to Peterson. It's blocked into the end zone and out of the back of the end zone. And that is a huge block punt, but maybe a bigger call is that it's a safety. So Sacred Heart does take the lead here, but they'll get the ball back. and. If all things considered there, if they fall on that in the end zone, it's seven points and a touchdown. The only good news now for Merrimack is even though they gave up the two points, they do have a chance now to punt the ball away freely and defend Sacred Heart, but that is not what you want to have happen there. Nope, and especially not with Sacred Heart's offense moving up the, way, the way they are. Um, they get the ball back potentially. 67 yards in front of McCray and this offense. Grant is back in the backfield now. They go to him on first down. He bounces off the first tackler. Grant into the secondary and beyond. Grant has a lot of room and he'll be chased down from behind inside the five. So Renzi on for another one. This one officially will go down as a 21 yarder and it's knocked home. Usually when it's that way, as a receiver, you should know when they're even, you're leaving. The uh, biggest target on offense, who's usually out there for this Merrimack offense, is not available today. Hayden Fisher did see him trying to go through warm-ups today, but unable to go here in the game. McCusker takes another shot for Conroy, Great and catch. Pat Conroy makes a beautiful play. Oh, he was big ball Pat Conroy last year with some of the downfield catches, and that's another bomb. That goes for 36. Yeah, he just wanted to let you know, I still got it with double coverage. Great great ball by McCusker right over the down, downside linebacker. And if they really wanted to try and, and make a statement to Sacred Heart. McCusker keeps it. And he gets the edge into the end zone. Gavin McCusker with a rushing touchdown for the Warriors. They grab the lead back. It's 27-25 with the extra point coming. Every play, you're seeing Pioneer players throwing their hands up in the air. I wonder if they are trying to milk the refs a little bit to get a couple calls, um, or if Merrimack really needs to bring back their, how aggressive they're being after the play. Well, that's oh, aggressive, block. blocked punt. It's tipped up in the air and out of bounds. And how about return the favor time Absolutely. from Merrimack? Absolutely, they almost got it off the bounce too, but that went out of bounds and Merrimack has fantastic field position here as they get the ball back. He is five for six on the season. This one is up with plenty of leg. It goes through the uprights. And the lead is extended 31-25 now on the 37-yarder knocked home. This Warrior defense, last thing they need is another penalty too. Big third down play, McCray back to pass. He looks, the play is made, catch is made, and then he's upended, and, and there's just not enough time. That'll do it. The catch was made yeah. by Haskett. And Merrimack wins 31-25. They stay undefeated in the NEC. And they knock off the Pioneers, the Pioneers' first loss in the conference this season. What a win for Merrimack, their fifth straight. And it seems like every week, Isaiah, they make a new stride they as a do. program. This was a huge win here today in their own house. Absolutely.